A follow-up, we report we promised two weeks ago. The issue of school bullying is an expected item on the agenda for a school board meeting in one county in the two Virginias. Allegations of racially charged taunting targeting the students of color in Greenbrier County has garnered attention of the National Office of the NAACP and the American Civil Liberties Union. Our Martin Staunton first brought us this story two weeks ago and joins us now live outside the Greenbrier County School Board offices. And Martin, as I recall, that story focused on Greenbrier West High School. You're right, Robert. The local chapter of the NAACP says it's a school of roughly 400 students, but less than a dozen of them are students of color. The rest of them are white. A pair of sisters, Deidre Ellen and Saria Carey, say they walk a daily gauntlet of racial slurs and taunts when they make their way to and from their classes at Greenbrier West High School. And tonight, WVBA can confirm there are a pair of in active investigations underway into that situation right now. It's also being presented right here at the middle school in Fairly to the school board tonight. This blurred image is the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back and prompted Nicole Carey to pull both her daughters out of Greenbrier West High School. The N-word is written here nearly a half dozen times, and other vulgarities are there as well as hate speech. One says, quote, I hate, they use the N-word, like Day-Day. This is the 14-year-old freshman they're talking about. Dadriel Carey says she first heard about this wall in the school welding shop on March 15th, but was told students have been adding to it and writing on it since January. Many of the messages have the initials of the authors. And none of the boys have gotten in trouble for it. None of them, because they're blaming me for it. They said, I wrote it. They said, I wrote it. And they what don't. What does that feel like? Uh. Confusing, because why would I do that? Why would I write that about myself? Dadriel Carey is not a welding student and says her photos and video of the racially charged graffiti was only the second time she'd ever been there. The first being her confrontation of a boy who called her sister the N-word. Her sister's thoughts of the wall? It was disgusting when I first saw it. It was sad when I first saw it. And the fact that they put my sister's name all over the wall and called her these things, it was embarrassing for them. And it was disgusting to me, and I felt a little bit hurt about it because it was my sister. You know, I care about my sister. For their mother, her instinct to protect her girls kicked in, and she pulled them both out of school March 18th because she says her complaints fell on deaf ears with Greenbrier West's administration, led by Principal Adam Young. No one says, we can't have this. And any, any, any other school... If I would call um, a, a kid that had uh, an issue, you know, if I would say something about that or uh, maybe a kid that was a little overweight or uh, maybe a kid with too fuzzy hair, and if I would pick on them with those, mm -hmm. I would be a bully. I would be kicked out. I would be... But this isn't bullying. This isn't harassment. This isn't a hate crime. When you have kids writing on a board, I hate N-I-G-G... ERs like her and point to her my daughter's name that's a hate crime and that's when Nicole Carey says she reached out to Loretta Young president of the local chapter of the NAACP we um, are investigating we have a team of persons who are going to be checking out all the stories and um, I am having um, conversations with the national NAACP's chief legal counsel Young says it's not her first probe into prejudice and racist remarks regarding Greenbrier County schools. She says the last time it was from the very top of state government in the Mountain State. Some may recall the story back in February 2020. The girls' head basketball coach made local and national headlines with a slur. The African-American coach from Woodrow Wilson High School approached a local law enforcement officer during their away game about some Greenbrier East fans yelling the N-word. That coach was pushed to the ground by the officer, and when that happened, his team left the bench to help their coach. 
a melee ensued. In the end, the Greenbrier East girls basketball coach labeled those student athletes on the opposing team, quote, a bunch of thugs, end quote. Woodrow Wilson's team members were suspended, but that coach was not sanctioned and remains in place at Greenbrier East and in office. It's West Virginia Governor Jim Justice who made headlines once again when he apologized for his use of the slur. Because, you know, I never dreamed that it, it, it would bother anyone. Young says it's public instances like this, what happened with the governor and those behind closed doors in the families of the bullies at Greenbrier West that makes young people think racial slurs are acceptable, especially when there's no consequences for that kind of aggression. And I think that when children are told, when, when they believe that they can say the word and get away with it, you know what I mean, they think it's funny. And when school officials are saying freedom of speech, and that's the reason why we have the ACLU involved. We all know that in a crowded theater, you cannot say fire. Mm -hmm. There are things that are not freedom of speech. I'll be honest, there's, that school isn't offering, it's not offering safety. It's not offering enough education to even say all what the school's worth. There's, it's not offering anything but beating my kids' self-esteem down and making them feel bad just because of what color they are. And just days after this story broke, the principal at Greenbrier West High School, Adam Young, announced his resignation the same day. Former Superintendent Jeff Bryant also announced his retirement. No reason was given for Young's resignation. Interim Superintendent Doug Clemens tells me that Mr. Young is stepping away for personal reasons. The thick file I'm holding here, it contains all the documents listed for the Greenbrier County Public School System's bullying policies. Loretta Young and Ms. Carey say they're showing up at this meeting tonight to ask why none of these policies seem to apply to the treatment that her girls received at Greenbrier West High School. We'll stay for this meeting here and bring you the latest tonight. Here for you live in Fairly, I am Martin Staunton, WVBA News.